calling pre-customer service. This is Veronica. How can I help you? No, no. I'm not dealing with pre-customer service anything today. I want to Level speak to the real thing. Automatic no. disconnect. Pre-customer service. This is Veronica. Do not hang up on me again. Level Do three not. Detected. Automatic what? disconnect. Pre-customer service. This is Veronica. How can I help you? Please do not hang up on me. Okay? Please don't hang up on me. I need to speak to customer service. Right now service. you're at a level two, so I still wouldn't be able to transfer you. Ah! I cannot. I don't understand why you're... Level three detected. Automatic oh disconnect. My... Pre-customer service. This is Veronica. Yes. Can I please speak with customer service? I need to resolve my issue. Sure. Let me go ahead and transfer you since you're at a level one. One moment, please. Thank you. Customer service, how can I help you? Finally. I'm so glad that I finally got away from that. You see, I was testing you and you failed. Okay. No. Level three detected. No. Automatic. No, no. Goodbye. Hey, Veronica, how are you? I just have a quick question. Hi, what's up? I looked on the time off calendar and it already looks like you have the week off. There's a field trip I'm supposed to be going on with my kid next week. Yeah, I've had that PTO scheduled for like, I think for like three months now because we bought the tickets way in advance. So I'm so sorry. You don't even have kids, man. It's not like it's important. What you just said? Like, you just don't understand that, you know, sometimes parents have to be at school events and, you know, you, you take all these days off and then, you know, parents got to sit here and what, we, we just got to wait because you, you know, you have no kids and you can just go live your life however you want. So because I chose not to have children, there's no possible way that my plans could also be important. Your plans are more important because you have kids. Is that what you're trying to say? I'm just trying to say that sometimes parents have to show up at their kids' events. Like, you know, you don't have kids, so you could easily move your stuff around. I don't understand why it's so hard for you to move it around. Not only have I been here longer, so I'm higher up in seniority than you, but I also put my request three months in advance because I knew that I needed next week off. So it's not my problem that you waited until the week before to try and get these days off. So, I mean, what are we going to do? What do you, I mean... What I'm going to do now is get back to work while you walk away. Okay, so thank you so much for attending the meeting. I'll be sure to update you all on all the questions that you had. Does anyone have any other questions? Okay, perfect. Also, Veronica, I actually had a question about the report you were supposed to send over. Can you give me some updates on that? I haven't received it. I actually turned that into Jamie last week. Um, she hasn't gotten it over to you. Let's go ahead and take that offline. All right, everybody. Thank you so much for being oh, here. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Why do we need to take it offline? I would just prefer to have this conversation offline if oh, that's but no you were you were prepared to call me out right now in front of everyone. So are you not calling Jamie out just because she's your team lead and you don't want it to look bad or why why aren't you willing to ask her on camera the same way you were asking me? I would just prefer to take it offline. I don't want to make a big deal out of this. Um let's just I'm not making have... a big deal out of it. I want to know why you were fully ready to call me out in front of the other five people in this meeting. But Jamie gets an offline conversation. Can we please take this offline? Okay, I... yeah, no, let's go ahead and take it offline. For future references, if you ever want to ask me about something that you think I haven't done, either start with it offline or we're having the whole conversation online with everyone else that you decided to bring it up in front of. Yeah, let's go offline. I think that's the best thing, too. Thank you for calling customer service. My name is Veronica. How can I help you? Yeah, I want to know why you guys suspended my account. What? Oh my God, was that an air horn? Yes, it was an air horn. Yes, it was an air horn because is there a reason you're yelling at me before I even get a chance to assist you? Don't you dare do that again. Oh my God, stop doing that. I stop doing that as soon as you stop yelling at me. That is not what I'm here for. And if you're going to mess up my eardrums, I'm going to mess up your eardrums. So you let me know how you'd like to proceed because I have it on I have it on repeat. You said your name was Veronica? Yes, my name is Veronica. Well, Veronica, I wonder how your boss is going to feel. <gasps> oh, my God. If you do that one more time. If I do that one more time. No, if you do that one more time, I'm going to let it play the whole 45 second clip that I have of it. Well, I'm just going to have to talk to your boss and let them know that it's this okay. is how... 
It's okay. My boss knows that I use the air horn. He's going to implement it in the entire office because I don't know, for some reason, customers got it twisted that they could call in and be rude to us. So we're actually implementing the air horn. So no matter who you speak to, if you yell at them the way you're yelling at me, you're going to get an air horn in your ear. So let me know. I just need help looking at my account. I'm happy to help you. I'll give you my account number. Just don't play the horn again. Okay, let's do this. What's your account number? I really wish that you guys could do something about your yes, wait time. Yes, and I apologize that the wait was so long. Can I please have your account number so we can go ahead and take a look at your account? I don't, I don't have my account number on me. All that time you waited and you don't have your account number. I don't. I don't have it. Okay, so now we have to spend more time looking up your account. Do you understand how that works? How long was it that you said you waited? I waited 40 minutes. And in 40 minutes, it didn't occur to you to look up your account number so that you could have it ready? Can I just give you my social? Can I mean... Did, did you give us your social security number when you booked your train ticket? Like, is that something that you do all the time, just hand out your social security number? It kind of feels like, like you're being sarcastic. I am being sarcastic. It's my last day. I, I just can't deal with this anymore so yeah it's my last day i'm purging right now mm -hmm. what is it that you want no from seriously me? did you give your social security number when you bought a train ticket and you're like okay i need it from this day to this day at this time here's my social no i didn't okay, okay I because didn't. the way that this conversation is going it sort of sounds like you would give me your social security number which you should not hand out to anybody Nobody should have your social unless you're applying for credit or, you know, a couple other things, but not to buy a train ticket. But you know what? Give me your social. One, five, four, two. Hey, V, do you think that you can co-sign a loan for me? Co-sign? Why do you need a co-signer? Because the bank won't approve me on my own. Mm-hmm. And why won't they approve you on your own? My credit's not so good. It's pretty bad. Do you not see where I'm going with this? No, what do you mean? You have bad credit, which I'm not judging you on because I understand that the economy that we're in puts a lot of people in a tough position. But you stopped paying on your own credit cards and your own loans and you want me to co-sign, which makes me equally responsible as you. So you weren't able to pay your own things, but I'm supposed to expect you to pay something more that you can't afford on your own. They're not approving you because you cannot afford it on your own and because your history of payment is negative. So why would you put someone in a position to take that risk with you? You could have just said no. I could have just said no. But you know what? Sometimes people who ask for a cosigner need to be like schooled in what it means for someone to cosign. When you ask someone to cosign, you're asking them to take full financial responsibility for whatever it is that you're asking them to cosign on. And it's not fair. And a lot of people do it just because it's an awkward position to be in. They don't want to say no. They don't want to seem like the bad guy. And now they're responsible for something that you cannot afford. Because if the bank is not giving it to you, that means you cannot afford it based on your payment history and your current income. So I'm sorry if you feel judged or if I'm being a little harsh, but don't ask people to cosign for you. If you cannot afford it on your own, do not ask for a cosigner. Lower your expectations or find a way to increase your income, but putting someone in that position is irresponsible. And, and honestly, it's, it's kind of rude. Hey boys, your mom and I are getting takeout for the family tonight. What do you guys want? Oh, can we get some pizza? Domino's pizza. Okay, good choice. And you son? Can I get some McDonald's? Wait, wait, no, no, no. Well, maybe some In-N-Out. They're the same thing. No, they're not. They're different. In-N-Out is better. All right then, uh, Domino's, In-N-Out. Gotcha. Wait, dad. Oh, of course. This guy. I'm so tired of this dude. Oh, this kid. Okay. Uh, sorry, I, I didn't see you there. What do you want? Please know that I appreciate anything that you get me. You sound like such a wuss. This is why no one likes you. Oh, okay, so now you're trying to be complicated. No, 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 not at all. I was just trying to not be greedy and selfish like these two idiots. Oh, okay. Now we're going to talk back to Dad. I'm not talking back. No, 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 no. We'll play it your way. I'll get you your takeout. I really wish that you guys could do something about your yes, wait time. Yes, and I apologize that the wait was so long. Can I please have your account number so we can go ahead and take a look at your account? I don't, I don't have my account number on me. All that time you waited and you don't have your account number. I don't. I don't have it. Okay, so now we have to spend more time looking up your account. Do you understand how that works? How long was it that you said you waited? I waited 40 minutes. And in 40 minutes, it didn't occur to you to look up your account number so that you could have it ready? Can I just give you my social? Can I mean, did, 
Did you give us your social security number when you booked your train ticket? Like, is that something that you do all the time? Just hand out your social security number? It kind of feels like, like you're being sarcastic. I am being sarcastic. It's my last day. I, I just can't deal with this anymore. So yeah, it's my last day. I'm purging right now. Mm -hmm. What is it that you want? No, from seriously. Me? Did you give your social security number when you bought a train ticket and you're like, okay, I need it from this day to this day at this time. Here's my social. No, I didn't. Okay. okay I because didn't. the way that this conversation is going, it sort of sounds like you would give me your social security number, which you should not hand out to anybody. Nobody should have your social unless you're applying for credit or, you know, a couple other things, but not to buy a train ticket. But you know what? Give me your social. One, five, four, two. I don't know. It just feels like sometimes when I'm alone, I just get like that urge to just not be here anymore, you know? Mm, okay. Do, do you feel like you're a danger to yourself? I mean, like... Uh, nah. You almost okay. got All me. Right. I was about to call him. I know I you were. I know. I know.